Yo guys, it's Noggin'ator here, and this is a uh, demolition derby in the Crew 2 at its finest. Uh, I am recording this post-production because my uh, mic didn't record, uh, so things might be like uh, something might happen. I might not react to it because I can't see the video. Okay, uh, but some honest thoughts on demolition derby. So as see, we start off here. It is in. Also, like I said, I'm recording this without even looking at anything, so I'm just going off memory here. Uh, at the beginning here, we've got uh, that it's in the freestyle area. So you got to go to freestyle, then you can go to demolition derby, and there are a lot of cars to pick from. Uh, but I went ahead and picked the Jeep-looking car. I forgot what it was called, uh, but yeah, I got that one, as you'll be able to see. Yeah, so those are your car options that are available. So uh, basically, there's a lot of different events. There's uh, like 12 or something like that. Uh, there's, there's a lot of them, and everything's kind of different. They, you have the uh, the straight out carnage, where you just have to get as many points as possible. Then you have like figure eight races. Uh, so for the beginning, I the first race that you get put into in the Storm X Arena is going to be more of a demolition uh, type thing. So I'm gonna talk over it as it's going over. Like I said, I can't see it, uh, but. It's pretty fun. You have different obstacles you have to avoid. There's things that swing around. And I really like the damage models on these cars. I think they're really, really good. And they act like demolition derby cars. You know, you have parts of the car that destroy and all that. It's basically demolition derby. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of the best clips from this uh, event. One of our mayhem makers. They change up the game and will appear throughout the event. Okay, so then the second event you get put into uh, is basically this figure eight type race. And I really actually like this race. Uh, it's, I don't know how to explain it besides just watching it as it's going over now but it's kind of it's a small figure eight track and the whole point of it is when you get like halfway done with the race you're gonna be encountered with people going across the track and everything at high speed when you're on the eighth part to figure the turn you, know, you can take the high line take the low line there's different bonuses that you get where you have more health to your car or you can have more knockout punch available to your car and it's really really fun uh, so i'm going to show you some of the cl uh, best clips from that race here And now the uh, pretty much all the other events are just different varieties of the carnage. Uh, basically, it's just demolition derby. You got to get as many points as possible. You hit the person depending on how much damage you do. That's how many points you get. Your car is destroyed. You lose 5,000 points. Uh, simple method. It actually works pretty good. Uh, and I like on some of the maps. Not in this particular race that I did. Some of the map actually falls off, almost like GTA with uh, I forgot the game mode's called. But it's sumo, yeah, sumo. It's kind of just like that, how you have parts of the uh, track just like falling off. And if you fall in there, your car gets destroyed. And it can randomly happen too, which is even more fun. So it's basically, you're almost playing two demolition derbies at once. All right, so I hope you guys did enjoy this breakdown of the demolition derby. It is really fun. Is it worth buying the game if you don't have the game? Probably not. It, is it a way that you can get brought back, uh, brought back to the game? Yes, just to do that, and that's basically it. The PvP was added too. I'm not gonna make a video about that because it's fairly simple. It's just PvP. You just get in against other people. There you go. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this, guys. If you did like this video, the Demotion Derby, make sure to drop a like, maybe share it on the good old Reddits and Twitters and some stuff like that, I don't know. Uh, send it to your mom, she'll probably like it. Uh, otherwise, that's it.